So I just started this project and thought it would make a good video. I'm building a sleeve puller uh, to pull the cylinder liners out of a 1952 Ford 8N tractor. But not before we knock together a recording and editing studio, notice some offcuts from my home construction project, and put it up on the last 36 inches of clear wall space in the garage. In my couple of short years as a shop teacher, I was known primarily for two things. One was that time that a student of mine got real cute and thought it'd be funny to park in my parking spot. So I got equally cute and padlocked his car to the tree at the back of my parking spot. And second, and probably more relevant to this video was Mr. C's diagrams. So without further ado, let's head over to the whiteboard so you can see exactly what it is we're putting together. So a sleeve or cylinder liner is just a replaceable bore <clears throat> inside your engine where your pistons and rings travel up and down. You replace them when it would be time to bore and hone your block. Rather than machine the block, you pull the old sleeve out and press a new one in and you're back to standard bore. The way we're going to remove this sleeve is with a screw type press. So we've got a spacer and thrust plate on top. Through that thrust plate, we have a piece of threaded rod and that threaded rod goes down and passes through a puck at the bottom. When we tighten the two nuts on the threaded rod, the distance between the thrust plate and the puck gets shorter. And because we can't push the spacer into the engine block, we pull the sleeve up and out. Well, I'll be the first to admit that the learning curve on putting out quality content is pretty steep. I got a lot more useful footage of my shoulder than I did the workpiece over on the lathe. The focus of this video is really just getting the sleeves out of the engine, not an in-depth machining video. So, for right now, a little voiceover will work. All I did was face each end of that tube that I'm using as a spacer. And then for the puck, I turned one diameter and drilled the one-inch through hole, flipped it around, and uh, turned the second diameter and faced it to length. The three jaw. Threaded rod, I cut down to usable length. And whenever you cut some threaded rod, do yourself a favor, leave a nut on there. Then when you go and chamfer the threaded rod on a belt sander or grinder, you can just back the nut off and it acts as a thread chase. So <clears throat> we have our tube, which has been machined flat on each end. Um, you don't need something this precise. I had it laying around. I wanted it anyways to use on my hydraulic press. I, you know, have to press on something that has a stud protruding or something, you can set it up on there. Um, but what's important is whatever you're using should not mar the surface of the block. So you could drop some pieces of wood and stack some steel, weld up a frame. Your imagination's the limit. But whatever you do, just make sure it's not something that's going to dig into and damage the deck surface. So I've got that roughly centered over cylinder number one. I've got a puck that we made, which needs to go on this threaded rod. Not started. All right, and this is going to go up into the block from underneath. And when we put another nut on top and tighten it, it should pull the sleeve up and out of the block. So we need one more component in order to do that. I was going to take this piece of steel which will bridge the tube and drill a one inch hole in it. And I said to myself, I must have something lying around that'll work. So I went over to my hydraulic press drawer and I've got this old, I think it's off a Toyota Camry wheel hub. So that spans the gap and the one inch threaded rod fits through where the CV axle went. We're in business. Let's give it a go. I'm just guiding that through by hand so that I don't drag the threaded lawn, the threaded rod along anything inside the block. Alright. Washer. And a nut. Alright, last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit of gear oil to put on this uh, threaded rod and washer so that 
We're not fighting the friction. <clears throat> down inside the threads also on the washer uh, because this is acting as a press bearing. My rag. One. All right. It's going to go on in. So same as this tube, the puck is made out of aluminum so that we don't damage the block with that either. And the further you go, the easier it gets because you've got less sleeve engaged in the block. should all just lift right up through the top. So I've got our tube. Bottom nut and washer. Out comes the puck. Looks totally undamaged. And there is the old sleeve. So we just do that three more times and this engine's block is ready to be cleaned up before reassembly. All right, so as you can see, it worked great. Um, this is actually the first sleeve I've ever pulled on any engine, let alone this engine. So I'm pleased with the results. If you're building this for a Ford 8N tractor, I'm going to give you the dimensions of my puck 
uh, that worked. This is a 90,000 thick sleeve engine. These engines were available with 40,000 thick cylinder liners as well as 90,000. There also were some bore out kits with pistons put directly into the block as well. So never a bad idea to just, once you have the head off, measure across the top of your bore and I'm right around 3.2 is just some wear at the top. 3.188 is the standard bore. So number two is also the reason that I rebuilt this engine. As you can see, at some point, the rod and piston became not one, and somebody must have just slapped a new rod and piston in the field in there and put it back into service. So smaller diameter, 3.18. My larger diameter is 3.345. Length of the large diameter is about 950. And length of smaller diameter is roughly 1.4. I had this a little bit longer because that's the piece of stock I had on my scrap rack. But I was having a little bit of clearance issues with the bearing dirt in the block. So... I just trimmed that down. I found that this worked. I probably wouldn't go any bigger because there's just no need to. You certainly could shorten this up and it would work just as well. Um, I am going to use this tool as well to drive the new sleeves in on my hydraulic press. Giovanni. Oh, done. Great. How, uh, how much longer are you open? All right, I'll be there in a minute.